All right, so let's take another look at what we can do to kind of make this into a small little game. Now, let's instead of calling this the enemy, and usually when you make a game, um, you, you generally tend to have some kind of adversary. But I'm just going to call this collectible. Okay, so we're going to now we're going to collect these here. And after playing the game, I'm just going to shrink this down to maybe 40 by 40. Okay, so the collectibles are a little less big, right? So what we're going to do is we're basically going to, well, whenever we, um, whenever we touch these items here, we're basically just going to collect them. Now, how do we do that? Well, there's a couple things we need to do first. First, whenever something is spawned, it gets put on top of the layer. So since the player was spawned at a um, first, all these new items are being spawned on top of it. You want to think of these as uh, like, like a table and paper. If you put more paper on the table, it's going to be put on top of whatever's on the table. So what we need is we need, I like to put in an object layer. So let's add in a layer, and I'm just going to call this object layer. And the more complex game you have, the more... Um, the more complex game you have, the more layers you will have here, okay? So I'm just going to move this down here, and I'm going to click on the collectible here, and I'm going to put this as object layer, okay? And by the way, you notice when I renamed collectible here, um, the collectible changed here. And let's go ahead and let's um, edit this function here, and we'll call this spawn collectible. Now you might be thinking, well, okay, um, why do we need to change that here? Well, oftentimes when you make a game, when you first start out making a game, it might end up something to be a little bit different because you might be thinking that's a better idea as you're going along here. So now, by the way, the player is now on top of all of these collectibles here. So all this means is that this player layer is on top of all the other layers below it. And we're always spawning that object layer down below. Now, by the way, remember a few tutorials ago, I said, well, what if you had this here and, you know, let's say here and here? Well, I would have to change each one of these layers here to the object layer. But because I put this in a function, I only have to do that once. So that inefficiency scales up, and it really does scale up as the bigger game you make. This is not a very complicated game, right? As you can see, it's it's barely a page long, and you can see that you know even if you made just some simple decisions, it would take a lot of extra work just to kind of change things up. So nevertheless, we want to uh, when we well basically collect one of these here, we want to do a couple things, okay? We want to, well, destroy the collectible and basically, you know, add it to some kind of score. Okay, so we're just going to add in, um, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to player. And this is where um, things get a little bit confusing to beginners. So we have is overlapping another object and on collision with another object. So... I'll take a couple seconds to explain this because it's an important concept. So is overlapping another object um, is um, so is overlapping another object here um, generally tends to deal with if the actual sprite is overlapping another object. And collisions deal with physics. So let's say, you know, in a future tutorial when we add physics, if something like collides with one another, like a ball colliding with a wall. So we just want overlapping here. Now, when we do that, we want to do the collectible. All right. So now that we have the overlapping collectible here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to collectible, destroy. Okay. So that's all we're going to do here. All right. So there we go. And whenever we collect these here, we're just going to uh, basically destroy each one of these objects here. And you can see that they're they're base they're going away, and that's because well, every time the player is uh, is overlapping one of these items, it's going to get destroyed. Okay. So in the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about variables and adding in a score.